Hello and welcome back. Applications of the gamma function, which we introduced it. Today, we're going to be looking at very simple integrals, integrals that can be done with a variety of other techniques, but we're going to be using the gamma function, whose definition I did write on the top right here. And uh, on the first lecture, I, I introduced it. Um, I hope you, you took some notes on it. So let's start with uh, a few integrals that we can actually evaluate using the gamma function very, very quickly. So the first one is the integral from not to infinity of x cubed e to the minus a half x squared. <clears throat> okay, not a difficult integral to do. Um, our rationale in order to, uh, we can see some kind of gamma function, the limits are lovely, uh, that's not the problem, is this bit here, that should be e to the minus, just a single variable, no halves, no x squares, nothing, so we're going to use a substitution, let's say t is a half x squared, uh, do the limit change, so if x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0, x positive infinity, t is positive infinity, so the limits don't change, so let's first of all, record that and uh, let's say 2t is equal to uh, 2t is equal to x squared i'm not going to move anymore i'm going to get my dx from this differentiating this line here so dt by dx half of um, 2 is 1 so it's a simply x so my dx is going to be dt over x Let's plug some of these things in and see what happens, and then uh, um, we come back here if we need more stuff. So x cubed, let's leave him. e to the minus t, which was what we really wanted there, and the dx is a dt over x. And what happens there? Some of the x's will cancel. So first of all, not to infinity, x squared e to the minus t dt. We still need the integral to go dt, so at the moment we need to lose this x squared. That's easy to lose. x squared is simply 2t. So we can actually say that is equal to, let's put it on the next line, 2t e to the minus t dt, not to infinity. And of course, this is a gamma function. That is a multiplicative constant at the front, is a 2. And this bit here, when compared with this line here, should be the gamma of one more than what we're seeing in here. So that's t to the one, so that's the gamma of two. And that's two. The gamma of two is, again, we introduced this result. Let me actually write it um, on the side as well because it is important and uh, <clears throat> we won't need any of this anymore. Uh, let's uh, uh, write it in purple. If n is an integer, positive integer, that is the gamma of n, uh, actually let's write it as the gamma of n plus 1 is the same as n factorial, or if I, as I wrote you originally, the gamma of n is n minus 1 factorial, so we have this result as well on the side in here, so the gamma of 2 <clears throat> is in fact um, 1 factorial, and therefore that which is 1, and therefore this integral is simply 2. Okay, simple as that. So we're going to look at another integral, probably to do about three integrals today. That's more than enough just to give us a few ideas. It's the important thing, and the first objective uh, we should have now is to recognize uh, the gamma function, uh, particularly if it's in different variables, and also look for the obvious substitutions to make things into gamma functions, some of the integrals. So 0 to infinity, the square root of x, and e to the minus the square root of x dx. Again, this is a gamma function possibly. The limits are nice, and e to the minus something is there. So that's probably, again, another substitution and we're in business. So first of all, we're gonna, we like the e to the minus just a single variable. So again, t is equal to the square root of x, or just simply x is equal to t squared. Uh, dx is equal to 2t 
dt and the limits to the chains x is 0, t is 0, x is positive infinity, t is also positive infinity, all good. So this now would be not to infinity, square root of x is in fact t e to the minus t and my dx turned out to be 2t dt. And I think that's nice and straightforward. Let's move that two at the front. From there, we're going to have a t squared e to the minus t dt. And this is a gamma function with one more than what we got in there. So that is, in fact, two lots of the gamma of three. And using this result here, this is two times the gamma of three is the same as two factorial. Two factorial is, of course, a two. And therefore, this will be equal to four. And that's done. Okay, let's do one more of these. Let's do something that's a little bit different. Oops, I moved. Hopefully it's in the same place and still visible in the video. So, what's the third one? Let's say we have an integral from 1 to infinity and we're having the log of x all cubed over x squared. That's a little bit uh, different, particularly because of the limits. So uh, it might not be obvious. I mean, uh, if we were faced with something like this um, and we didn't know anything about gamma functions, probably we'll be thinking <coughs> some kind of substitution, first of all, followed by integration by parts or things along those lines. So at the moment, I'm going to use a substitution t is equal to the log of x, which essentially says that x is e to the t. Uh, which one do I differentiate? Probably because I've got an x squared in there, it might be a better idea to differentiate that. So we're going to do dt by dx is 1 over x, and therefore my dx on this side is going to be x dt, which will, will cancel uh, some of my x at the bottom. Limits, the most important thing. We didn't check the limits. What happens with the limits? When x is equal to 1, log of 1 is 0. So 1 will map to 0. And when x goes to positive infinity, the log of an infinite quantity is, of course, back an infinite quantity. So infinity matters to positive infinity. So this is what will happen now to this particular integral. We're going to have um, not to infinity. The log of x is going to be t cubed. We're going to leave the x squared at the bottom. And the dx is going to be x dt. And tidying this up, uh, we're going to have t cubed over x dt. We still need to lose this x. And x is e to the t. So 1 over x, as we have it at the bottom. Well, actually, let me just put the extra line there. We have not to infinity. t cubed over e to the t dt, which, of course, is not to infinity. t cubed e to the minus t dt and of course this is now a gamma function and this is a gamma that's already as we want it in here is just the gamma of one more than what we got in here so that's the gamma of four and the gamma of four from this result here is going to be three factorial and the answer to that is going to be six now, i think that's enough for today i want to keep this video a little bit shorter than, than normal. I'll do a few more of these and uh, at some point I will introduce uh, the, the beta function. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you followed it and uh, I will see you really, really soon. Bye for now.